It's not a joke. It's not funny. You're putting the livelihoods of hardworking Australians at risk. And you're scaring children. And you're a coward and you're a grub. And if you do that sort of thing in this country, we will come after you and we will throw the book at you. Uh, the first one is to be increasing the penalties uh, for those who will be found guilty um, under the existing provisions from 10 years in prison to 15 years in prison. So that basically takes you uh, from someone who has uh, an offence for forgery or theft of a Commonwealth property, they currently get 10 years, that's the 10 years, that's what you get 10 years for. What you get 15 years for are things like possessing child pornography and financing terrorism. That's how seriously I take this, and that's how seriously our government takes it. I want to advise, and these numbers are fluid, but I want to advise that there are now over 100 cases where uh, there is a report of fruit being contaminated. Now, we believe that a lot of these will be hoaxes or copycat events. But the most important point to make here is that it, it is a diversion of resource, of policing resource, when we want to be finding the true culprits here. Um, obviously, in the last two days, um, we found a young person has admitted to a prank, including putting needles in, in strawberries, and he will be dealt with under the youth cautioning system.